Alright, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening sa ating uh, mga viewers especially, no? sa ating viewers from the Philippines, Saudi, uh, Qatar, UAE, and especially yung, uh, Singapore, Taiwan, right? So we have uh, many, many viewers from those areas. And uh, we're almost done with third week and we are now proceeding with the fourth week or final week para sa ating uh, January, right? And uh, today we will be discussing among stocks or mga positions that we should be watching right now and I am watching myself no? right so before we all do all of that uh, let me share to you the word uh, from our sponsor so this comes from Proverbs chapter 14 verse 30 uh, it reads like a heart at peace gives life to the body but envy that's the bones all right so ano ba ibig sabihin nito right and this is very very timely no? para sa atin because with the rise of social media like in Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram and you're going to see a lot of people who are posing posing a lot as if their lives are perfect they have this, they have that right? so uh, that causes minsan no? especially sa mga tao nagkakaroon ng envy right? so Bakit siya may ganun? Bakit ako wala? Alright? May nakita sa kapitbahay, bibilin din. And when you come to think of it, uh, hindi nila naiisip na the, the very thing that they want, magbibigay din ng problema sa kanya, sa kalaunan. Like for example, uh, nakakita siya ng bagong kotse sa kapitbahay and he wants to buy the same. Right? So medyo hindi kaya ng budget, uh, pinilit, and later on, di ba? Ano nangyayari? Nagkakaroon ng mga ibang gastusin sa kotse tulad ng mga accessories noon. Then you have to, yung ano, yung parking and yung mga iba pa na kailangan sa kotse. At gasolina. And then, eventually siya tipid ng tipid. Uh, siya pa yung nagkasakit, no? Dahil nga sa kagustuhan niya mabayaran yung kotse. And I'd like to point out to you guys na our emotional states definitely translate no sa mga sakit like for example kung magagalitin ka uh, definitely no isa ka sa mga merong may alta presyon and hindi mo ba napapansin karaniwan din ng uh, matataas ang BP or blood pressure isa la rin yung malalabo yung mata no? because our emotional states especially mga negative emotional states may epekto yan sa ating health right so di ba Kung sino yung mga mahilig magsikreto ng mga bagay-bagay, sila yung may ano, uh, arthritis. No? So, I'm not, I'm not saying na kung may arthritis ka, you're very secretive. Or if malabo mata mo, definitely not. No? Minsan, napasahan ka ng DNA na medyo mahina talaga. And that's not your fault. Right? So, ibig ko lang sabihin, yung emotional states, nakakaroon yan epekto sa ating health and then manifest yan as sakit, right? So, do not quote me on this, but I think we should be literally uh, taking this. No? Literally. I, I am not a doctor. I, I cannot prove this, but, di ba? Envy rats the bones. Baka literally. No? Siyempre, when you're uh, thinking and when you are uh, very uh, envious, no? It, it drains the life, no? Bones kasi, yan ang source ng, ano, yan, ng blood. Eh. Red blood cells specifically, di ba? So, baka ganun yung nangyayari. No? I don't know if it's already proven or not. But, baka we could take this uh, literally. Right? So, with that, I am telling you, uh, as you go along through life, as you mature, as you get older and older, you're going to see a lot of wise, wise uh impartation of knowledge dito sa Bible. No? So, so tulad yan, sinabi ko sa inyo, uh, same thing, no? Na nangyari sa akin. As I progress through life, as I read more books, uh, dito ko nakikita, eh, no? Na yung Bible is nandudo na talaga lahat, no? Yung mga kailangan nating malaman na importante. And, uh, there's nothing new, no? There's nothing new under the sun lahat yan nakasulat na dito it is all already written for us alright so guys and 
this was the very thing na sana I would travel back in time and say to myself, uh, please read the Bible because mas magiging madali ang iyong buhay and less is travel once you truly understand and read the Bible. Right guys? And I'd like to point out na there are some things no, in life na kahit nabasahin mo nang basahin yan or mga libro specifically kahit basahin mo nang basahin hindi makuha yung lessons or yung pinaka essence niya so un- unless you are open and when you are willing and you are ready to receive that knowledge dun mo yan makukuha no so again their knowledge na makukuha mo through experience through through going through life and uh, I hope no, that you are able to pray na maintindihan mo kung ano yung mga nakasulat dito sa Bible because that is very very uh, important no? talagang ano knowledge is power so right again guys uh, I hope I am doing that sa inyo and I am endorsing you no? especially if you are listening to this siguro mga 20 or probably teens ka pa lang, no? Nabasahin mo yung Bible because nandiyo dito na lahat talagang kailangan mo. Right? With that, let's now proceed with our watch list. Again, anything that I would say at this point in time is just a mere possibility and base, this would only be based on my insights and how do I talk the market. Alright? So again, if you want something 100%, basahin mo yung Bible and itong mga charts natin or mga analysis and discussion ko, these are just mere possibilities. No? Nothing is 100%. I am not there when you are going to buy and when you are going to sell. And our review are only weekly, no? hindi naman daily. Kaya hindi ko kayo ma talaga as the week goes on. right? So again, this is just uh, at least a macro view ng kung paano natin titignan yung market. All right. Starting off our list is Artaland. All right. So, ang gusto ko dito sa Artaland, it has been on a slide down for at least no two weeks na. And last Thursday, uh, where we etong candle na to has been no uh, a, a very very uh, negative reaction no. Umbaga sa ano na sila. I think this is 11% negative and last Friday negative din to eh. But but was able to come back no nung closing and that is a good subtle bounce no. And looking at the bigger picture, it looks like a buy zone, no? Supportado siya rito, nitong green, green zone na to. These are a good sign kung saan ka pwedeng accumulate Especially if uh, mag-close to by Monday or Tuesday, higher than 0.91, there is a likelihood, no? That we may be able to see uh, itong ALCO uh, to at least, no? maka-recover para ma-take out niya yung 103 or 105 which is I think uh, 10 to 11 percent itong area na to itong puti na to but ang isang maganda rito is yung ALCO has the possibility rin naman na mag-blue skies ibig sabihin beyond this area itong blue na to pwede siya mag-dire-direcho pa doon or create another high no? again I think we, we are pretty much seen and we are pretty much uh, exhausted, no? Yung mga talagang hopeful na tataas to, na shake out sila rito. And this is a trap, no? Then, pasok na yung mga buyers, mapapansin nyo, hindi naman din ganun ka, kada, kalaki yung volume, but he was able to at least close the stock much higher than the, ano, uh, fr- nung Friday, no? So, ibig sabihin nun, medyo uh, napabenta niya yung mga weak hands. And again, maganda rin naman yung momentum because I do not think natapos pa to, no? With this big, big volume upsurge dito, I think, uh, mas maganda sana, no? Kung mag-consolidate dito sa range na to, itong buying zone na to, before finally moving up para mas malakas yung chance na ma-break niya yung 52-week high. And again, that is just mere observation and uh, yung charts, no? What, what is the chart saying? Right? So again, uh, our charts is now investagrams, no? We don't have yung uh, PSC tools anymore, but uh, maganda naman sa investagrams even though uh, ano siya, ma- mas marami ka naman magagawa, no? Like, like pl- plotting itong ano, 
uh, green line and blue line na to. And mapapansin nyo yung charts ko, very very uh, simple lang, no? Wala masyadong uh, indicators or yung mga intersecting lines because uh, tulad ka na sinabi ko sa inyo nung nag-uumpisa ako rito, I was uh, familiar doon, no? Sa ano, sa charts na simple lang, no? And I think that worked as advantage in the long term because I was able to at least defend on that and pinilit kong aralin talaga, no? And if you are, if you have, no, yung profitable system already, uh, kahit hindi mo na siguro i-adapt to, no? If you have already uh, combining, like yung mga RSI, MACD, di ba? Uh, ADX, yun yung mga SICART 9 indicators, eh. So, if, yours, if you have already a good system with that, uh, no problem, no? I'm just telling you na uh, itong sa atin is, uh, uh, I mean, yung ginagawa ko is very simple lang naman. Right? So, ang tawag nila dito is uh, price action, no? Or naked price action sa iba. Right? Next on our watch list would be IMI. So, I think this area na to at around the third or fourth week ng December, if you would like to review, no? Uh, most or average uh, gurus or mentors would probably tell you na to avoid yung mga falling knives, no? yung pababa or downtrend stock. But, as I progress no, sa trading, na-realize ko na there are, there are potential no? sa mga ganitong plays and especially if you would only strive to learn yung mga yun. No? Again, dito, no? dito ko Unang nakita itong ano na to, IMI na to. I think this is the candle, no? Medyo maliit. No? I don't I think if you remember it right, no? Dito sa area na to. Sabi ko sa inyo, this is the confirmation candle and maganda sana, no? Kung makakabili ka rito, no? Again, if hindi mo pa nakikita yung ano na yon, guys, please uh, review yung chart quick session na yon. And then ang sabi natin, Ito pa lang yung chart na yun eh. Dito pa lang, no? Itong area na pa lang na to. Sabi ko, you might want to sell sa 12. Eventually, uh, nag-12 nga siya, no? Lumagpas pa nga. But I was able to sell dito. Dito sa area na to, papuntang 12. Alright, hindi ko na-maximize yung ano. But at least, I was able to execute yung, uh, yung trade na to. And malaki-laki rin naman yung gain na yan. But, Currently, I think it's doing an exhaustion, no? Medyo pagod. May, medyo pagod. With, with those uh, candles, nagkakaroon ng weaknesses. And it might, no? It, it might uh, retest yung 12. 1180 to 12, yung ating initial target dito. If we are going to uh, look out for, no? Pura pullback dito sa IMI, no? And I think it's uh, on the road, no? On the road to recovery etong IMI. So again, simple lang, no? And mapapansin nyo, I want you to guys review kung ano yung sinasabi ko rito nung mga panahon na wala pa tong ano, tong area na to. So again, that's our take for IMI. At least you wait for ano, for for 12, no? Dito ka banda bumili. I think it's bound to to retest yan dose na yan. And then bago siya umakyat at least dito sa 15 area yung susunod natin na ta-targetin no? right 15 to uh, 12 pesos to 15 I think that is uh, 20 to 25 percent tama ba? Uh, I don't I'm not really good at math no? mabilisan but let's now proceed sa ating uh, next on our watch list would be CHP alright CHP no Right, T CHP again. This is a down trending stock again. If medyo average guru would tell you do not uh, trade this, but tulad nga ng sinabi ko sa inyo, uh, last 2018 most of my winning trades, no, maraming winning trades was on the reversal, right? And hindi naman na iba to, no, CHP. I told you already. This is a bullish bullish sign no. Itong big big volume na rito. Uh, hindi kasi masyadong kita rito eh no. Sa sa Instagram unlike sa PSC tools madaling makita yung mobile version nun. Dito no, dito uh, 
sabi ko sa inyo, walang bibili ng ganyan karami without them knowing something, no? And, yun nga yung nangyari, no? Ang sabi ko, I think two weeks ago, dito pa rin sa area na to, ang sabi ko sa inyo, if it closes above two, we start accumulating, no? Because, uh, mukhang ganun nga yung gagawin. And last week, if you're going to review yung chart quick session natin, ang sabi ko sa inyo, this looks like a normal pullback. Right? So, ganun nga yung nangyari, same execution, ah, uh, Eventually, bumaba siya hanggang 2 and nagway below 2 pa nga. But then again, uh, Monday, finally, mayroon ng linaw kung bakit, no? Kung bakit uh, tumaas yung uh, CHP. There are importation taxes para sa ating mga foreign uh, cement providers. And that's a good news, no? Para sa CHP because, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung chance na rin na, na makabenta once na mas mataas na yung kuha nila. Uh, kuha ng kalaban, no? sabihin uh, mas magaganda yung flame field no para sa ating CHP which is a uh, locally producing uh, one of the cement no and even even yung whole cement eagle uh, was able to ride yung news na yun no? yung good sentiment na yun because that is a good news for our local cement providers again uh, last week ang ating sabi is you have to play yung 2 peso to 240 and i hope you're able to at least uh, take some profits no para kasi uh, baka mamaya if maybe next week uh, bumaba ito at least you have already taken your profit again uh, unless you're doing this intraday and if you have the skills and knowledge already you might want to avoid muna tong CHP because of the volatility no and uh, you might want to at least check muna yung ating uh, 240 kung how it will react. No? Or Monday, baka pwedeng mag-retouch to na mabilis sa 240 bago umusad ulit. No? But wala long, long, long term view, especially if you're going to hold this. At least, no, pyramid mo yung uh, pera mo. You might want to buy right now and then see if mabilik niya yung 270. Kasi yung ating nakikita rito at least 3 pesos. No? On the long, long term view, no? Kasi baka swing ka or ano. But, uh, coming weeks, you might want to play this intraday, no? Itong CHP. Right? That's our take for CHP. Let's now proceed sa ating IRC. IRC, if you're going to see the charts, ang sabi ko, 220 would be the buy zone, no? Anything below 220. And it's proving to be a solid, solid uh, insight because uh, mapapansin mo, should have been, no? should have been uh, dapat breakdown na to but i think no from the last two candles i think somebody is uh, protecting this this IRC no binato muna lahat eh binato na nila at binato na nila yung paso binato na nila yung lababo but still holding no yung area na yan at least at least if it if it still hold no itong area na to 205 220 area yeah we're still good no sa IRC we're still good and I think this is nearing the bear exhaustion, no? Or there are few, few sellers na ating mga nakikita dito, right? So again, uh, kung nakabili ka below 220, that's very good. And let's try to check and see, no? Kung marirretouch niya itong 230 for the short term and yung ating isa pang profit taking dito sa 250 area. That is both psychological and uh, technical levels para mag-sell. So again, guys, uh, these are the insights, no? Na I think, uh, nung nag-uumpisa ako, wala, eh, no? Walang mga channel, but I think it's time, no? Maraming tayong makikita ng channel na naglalabasan, na nag-i-impart uh, ng knowledge, no? Because one thing uh, I learned, no? Because... Pwede ka nang, I'm started, this channel, I started sharing, mas gumanda, no? Yung aking execution and yung aking stock selection, mas naging profitable ako. Because that is true, no? Knowledge, once you impart them, mas lalo lang yung dumadami sa'yo, no? Parang bumabalik sa'yo. And mas nagiging nahasa ka lalo. And ganun din sana yung gawin yung approach, no? When, when you have family members or workmates, or friends na nagtatanong sa'yo about stock market and you see them and you see the desire no? na gusto nila matuto 
you teach them no be patient and tulad nga nang sinabi ko sa inyo it will benefit also you once you impart yung knowledge na yan right so again uh, next on our watch list would be sir trek sir trek no it's it's really really uh, ano na on the sitting at the buying zone no already itong itong uh, light green area na to that is a buy zone already hindi ka na pwede pwede ka nang hindi tumawad no I mean and if you're a bit skeptical you might want to check and see yung confirmation candle bago ka bumili right and especially especially if mag breakdown mas lalong maganda bumili dito sa zero track no because Ah, uh, ito tong tong move na to, I was able to catch this, no. Sakli. Nitong pagbabang ganyan, dito ako na pabili and then tumaas siyang ganun. So, ang laki ng ano ko rito and this coincide with the news na they are going on a buyback, no. But ang naging problema nung nawala na yung buyback, unti-unti rin bumaba, no. But currently, it's institutionally supported, no, at this area, no. And I tell you, there, there will be buyers, no? Once na mag-breakdown pa yan, mas lalong gaganda yan, no? So, this time, bibili ka na ba? Definitely not. You may you may just want to have yung uh, confirmation candle rito if it's going to go above or yung breakdown lalo, no? And pag-breakdown, huwag ka muna bumili. Tignan mo muna yung reversal bago ka bumili, right? Yung conver- confirmation ng reversal kasi... Mas bumaba naman yan dito sa level na to. Huwag mo nang bilhin. Kasi ibig sabihin nun, there's something wrong. Right? At least itong area na to. Dapat dito ka uh, bumili. But pag bumaba pa dun, to cut loss. Right? So that is our take for, for IRC. Let's now move on sa ating MAX. No? MAX has been showing signs of life and there's a good, good volume. no Especially in Thursday and Friday. And this is the correct buy zone. No? But with the current price, medyo unextended movement, kapa pa siya. And if you're going to look at the two, two last two candles, this is long, this is short, so this is fading, no? Pahina, especially may, may gap pa yan. Uh, I think it's going to revisit, no? Same thing sa, sa kanina natin, 12 rin, no? So I think, eto, kung dito ka makakabili, I think ayaw may yung 12, no? Itong max at least dito, no? Sa area ng 12. I think it's going to retest, no? It's 11... 11... 70 ba to? To 12, no? Ayan yung magandang bilhin. And if you're going to sell, dito naman sa area na to. Around 13 to 13, 50. 1380 pa yata to. No? Again, for max, medyo gap up na kasi. And it's, it's going to started fading, no? You might want to mag-abang ka doon sa level na yun. Kasi yung gusto ko rito sa max, it is volume. Right? So again, last but not least on our watch list would be SSI, no? SSI has been a good, good volume, but currently, no? Currently, sa nakikita natin dito, huwag ka mo nang bibili because we, we might want to check and see if matitake out na yung 250 to 254, no? Itong level na to at least, dapat, dapat, mabutas nga yan and kung mabutas niya, you wait for it to retest. No? Kasi pag bumili ka ngayon, 247, mabutas niya, pwede hindi niya pala mabutas, no? tapos bumaba lang ulit ganun. No? At least, itong resistance na to, at least mabasag niya. Tapos it is a considerable resistance, and kung bibili ka sa 2, 247, no? ngayon na 247, sobrang liit ng risk to reward, no? But, once you, you retest itong, you buy on the break, no, at least sa 250, 254 level, dito na yung bentahan natin, no, around 2, 280, 285, no, area na to. Again, ang gusto ko sa SSI, uh, this is a new, new trend, and uh, mukhang merong uh, story that is picking up dito sa SSI. Right? Again, guys, if you are able to run something dito sa, sa ating uh, chart quick session, you might want to uh, subscribe, no? And again, uh, see you next week for another uh, chart quick session natin, right? This is PC Recap. Maraming maraming salamat.